Johnny with me. Our today's conversational topic is Should you flatter your boss? Well, it turns out that research says flattery rocks. Yes, sir, it actually does. Don't you believe me? Enough. President, I, well, that's I was enough. Ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, Mr. President, me. that's enough. Mr. President, in, in, go in ahead, Jim, Peter. Go in, ahead. In Jim's defense, I've traveled with him and watched him. He's a diligent reporter who busts. Well, his I'm not a big fan of, of yours either. So I you understand. Know, to be honest, so, right. let me, so let me ask you a question, if I can. You repeatedly you said are, you are the best, Mr. President. You repeatedly oh, over the course. Okay, of the, just sit down. Now you noticed how President Donald Trump clashes with CNN reporter Jim Acosta. But on the other hand, he highly praised another reporter because of his subtle flattery. If I were the CNN reporter in place of Jim Acosta, I would certainly use some artful flatter techniques saying something like that, Mr. President, I really wish I had such stylish hair as you. <laughs> Go ahead. Can I mess your hair up? With my hair spray. <laughs> I'm sure you'd have stories of how some folks in office flatter your boss, be in his good books, and do well while some other work their backside off but still languish with average growth. If you don't like the word flattery, say boss management. <laughs> But don't waste another minute wondering whether or not to do it. Learn how to do it out fully instead. Well, so here are some simple ways. Asking for advice is one of the most intense forms of giving someone an ego boost. Use it. Say something like, Sir, I really admire the way you handle such diverse team members with such sophistication. You are great, unique, unparalleled. You can also say, Never ever send a person like you who is kind, honest, smart, good looking, and devoted to his country. Though he is son of a corrupt, shirker, psychopath, and bootlicker. Project your boss in front of others as hero. Don't be outspoken like my dad, otherwise you'll get fired. Flatter him saying like, uh, Sir, I really admire the way you handle high pressure situations. There's something I really get to learn from you. Although you know, your boss is a hundred percent rogue and his only quality is he knows how to manage. Avoid dragging an argument with the boss. By all means, never appear as a potential threat to your boss. The boss may feel threatened if you are an exceptionally talented subordinate. So temper your smartness down a bit in front of your boss. Convey that you are as faithful to him as a two-legged animal can possibly be. <laughs> Nothing in this world is harder than speaking the truth. Nothing easier than flattery. Thanks for watching.